New York must hold Democratic presidential primary. Judge rules. The primary in June, which had been canceled over concerns about the coronavirus, should still be held, with all qualifying candidates restored to the ballot, a federal judge ruled. A federal judge on Tuesday ordered elections officials, in New York State to hold its Democratic primary election, in June and reinstate all qualifying candidates on the ballot. The ruling came after the presidential primary, was canceled late last month over concerns about the coronavirus. The order, filed by Judge Annalisa Torres, of United States District Court, came in response to a lawsuit filed last week by the former Democratic presidential candidate Andrew Yang. He sought to undo the New York State Board of Elections decision in late April to cancel the June 23 contest, a move it attributed to health and safety worries and the fact that the results would not change the primary's outcome. The initial move, to cancel the presidential primary, drew a backlash from the campaign of Senator Bernie Sanders, whose decision to suspend his campaign in April made former Vice President Joseph R. Biden Jr. the presumptive Democratic nominee. And it sowed confusion around the state, though the statewide presidential primary was canceled, dozens of local elections were not, leaving some candidates and political operatives nervous that voters might presume the entire primary had been called off. People in every state should have the right to express their preference in the 2020 Democratic primary. In his lawsuit, Mr. Yang and a group of his delegates contended that their rights had been violated when their names were removed from the presidential primary ballot, and the primary was cancelled. And although she acknowledged that protecting the public from the spread of the virus was an important state interest, she wrote that the court is not convinced that cancelling the presidential primary would meaningfully advance that interest, at least not to the degree as would justify the burdensome impingement on the plaintiff's rights. Even though he suspended his campaign, Mr. Sanders had repeatedly pleaded for his supporters to vote for him, arguing that the more delegates he could amass, the greater leverage he would have over policy discussions, with Mr. Biden and the Democratic platform. But progressives around New York also sounded the alarm that cancelling the presidential primary could have an outsize impact on their turnout. He pointed to Mr. Sanders's 2016 delegates as essential to the party's overhaul of its superdelegate system, as an example. He also called for the state legislature in New York to meet and pass a new law vastly expanding vote by mail and to use the primary as a testing ground for an all vote by mail system in New York State. Though the initial decision was made by the independent board of elections and Mr. Cuomo did not directly weigh in during deliberations, liberal groups like Our Revolution, a Sanders-aligned outside group, saw the invisible hand of the governor. Absent the reversal, Larry Cohen, the chair of Our Revolution, had vowed to wage a floor fight at the Democratic National Convention. Thanks for watching. Please do like, share, and subscribe.